God, I do love me some dry brushing. What's happening, my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Chris's Custom Collectibles. And today, it is an express episode. We are gonna be pimping out the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Deathstroke from Arkham Origins. Look at this bad boy. This thing is a beast. The detail on this figure is beautiful. Not a lot of work is required to make this guy look like a trillion bucks. So that's why I'm saying today's custom collectible episode is a quickie slash express episode, but the final result is gonna be amazing. So there are only three things we are gonna be using to pimp this figure out. The first step is black kiwi shoe polish. We're then gonna be using a Liquitex a neutral gray acrylic paint. And then we're gonna go in with some silver rub and buff for all the accents, highlights, dry brushing, battle damage. Technically, there's a fourth step. We're gonna seal it all up with a matte sealer and then call it a day, literally a day. We can do this in about half a day, give or take with drying time. It is pretty warm out there today because summer is slowly approaching here in Australia. So that should make things a lot more easier. So let's get this show on the road, geeks and geekettes. Hope your week's been good so far. With that being said, let's get to it. All right, geeks and geekettes, we've got our black shoe polish here. This has not been watered down. This is straight out of the container and we have some tissue here to wipe away the excess. So if you see right here, this is where I've done a test and by adding the black shoe polish, it makes the armor look a lot more metallic. So we see the oranges here. It looks a little bit too cartoonish, I guess you could say. So we are also gonna be adding the black shoe polish on the gray scales. And then we'll go back in with the silver rub and buff and dry brush it back on. And then that'll really highlight back the scales. So we've just got a tiny little brush here because we really wanna take our time in terms of highlighting everything. And then we'll dab away the excess with our tissue. Now also, you really wanna keep rubbing it in because it does wanna beat away at first, but once the shoe polish sorta of starts to set, you can really start rubbing it into the armor and then it'll really take to all that beautiful detail. <laughs> All right, geeks and geekettes, we're gonna let the black shoe polish dry for now. One thing I did notice, they forgot to paint the scales gray on this part of the figure. So I just got some pewter Lemire color that I used on the Batfleck Custom Collectible the other week and just touched it up along here. It was uh, this color blue here, but I just went in and just did this little area here. So I'm just gonna let that dry and then hit that with the black shoe polish so it blends in like this part here. All right, geeks and geekettes, what we're gonna do now is get our Liquitex Neutral Gray and just very lightly dry brush it over the pouches and accessories. So it is a very, very straightforward process. We just want as little as possible on our brush and then just lightly drag it over the pouches. Now this cylinder here will be tackled later with the silver rub and buff. But as you can see there, we're just starting to highlight all the sagginess of, uh, of the material just to really highlight everything. And it's just easy as that, just a nice little simple step like that. And I'll repeat this process around the belt here as well as the accessories down here like the drop holster. The second last step in this quick little custom collectible is we've got our silver leaf rub and buff here with some very small fine brushes and we're going to be doing our dry brushing all over the armor and the accessories to show that there's been wear and tear on his armor, there's battle damage, there's scratches and it's exposing the raw metal plating underneath. So I'm really looking forward to emphasizing that on the helmet because there are pre-sculpted scratches in the sculpt, which is great. It's gonna be a great guide. Um, also very lightly go over his scales again, the abdomen, 
Uh, also his sidearm here as well as his hand grenade. As far as I'm concerned, I'm happy with the pouches, they're great. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of subtle dry brushing with the rub and buff on his boots. I did do some dry brushing with the gray acrylic from Liquitex on the boots just a little bit. But for the most part, this step is for the blue and the orange parts. So for his shell casings here, I am gonna be painting the tops of them completely silver or just a very heavy dry brush on top here just so it separates the color scheme and makes it look like proper shotgun shells. And that's pretty much it. I will be doing the same for his sword and scabbard, just dry brushing the blade and the handle, not much to it. So once I'm happy and reach that happy medium, I'm gonna let him sit for a bit and then we're gonna seal him up with a matte dull coat spray and call it a day. Easy as geeks and geekettes, quick little one today, but it's a good way to kill time in the afternoon. God, I do love me some dry brushing. And there we have it guys, the McFa- Mick. <laughs> Mick. The McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Deathstroke Arkham Origins figure is done and dusted. Again, this is only a quick little custom collectible, but I'm very happy with the end result. All in all, it was two hours work, and that two hours included changing a flat tire on my car in between stuff drying on him. So it's been a very productive day to say the least. Guys, wherever you're in the world, have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you will, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.